manager today and has a closer look. Zach? Well, Landon, officials say once the fire is reported, that call goes into a computer program that automatically chooses resources to send out. Then fire managers decide what to send beyond that. All of our dispatch centers, we can actually go in and see what fires they have and what resources are sent to it. David Easton with the U.S. Forest Service is in the information business. Automatic flight followings. Monitor the, the weather systems coming in. The camera system around Lake Tahoe. The more information he has, the more he can get out of his personal resources when fighting fires in the Humboldt Toyabe National Forest. We take action on every, we manage every fire. Um, it really depends on where the fire is, is what kind of response we're going to have. The terrain, where the fire is doing, what the wind's doing. If there's a single tree in a rock pile, do we really need to put responders at risk going into it at immediately? If he's not on scene of a fire, he uses websites and computer programs to gather intel, both at his desk and on his phone. Real-time intelligence on any wildland fire we have. These tools also help predict when and where fires are likely to start. Easton says lightning expected later this week is piquing his interest. BLM partners, they're prepositioning a bunch of resources throughout Nevada. And even with all this information, Easton says they still have some sort of human contact with each fire. Be it an aviation response or a ground response. So we're always getting firsthand intelligence on it. Once they have eyes on a fire, officials may attack or simply sit back and observe. But those those come with a lot of decisions and a lot of people make decisions to make that to make sure that we're doing the right thing for the landscape. Each agency has its protection priorities. For the Forest Service it goes human life followed by property and finally natural resources like sage grouse habitats. And Easton even uses Google Maps to help track that sage grouse uh, population. Covering the story live in the studio, Zach Mooney, Channel 2 News.